and they block him, but they get the push in. I believe that counts. They call it out of bounds. They call it out of bounds. Okay, I wasn't sure. I thought it might have been. Um, Tanner Holtman attempts and almost succeeds to get that back in for an incredible assist, if it were to count. All right. Coming in. Uh, passing it out to the corner for three. No good. Rebound to Ramiro. Ramiro trying to drive. Spin move. Out to McGill. Ramiro back to it. One on one. All right. This is where Ramiro seems to thrive is the one on one drive. All right. Looking for somebody to f looking for somebody to shoot and they lose the ball on the on the reach in foul. So Ram those fouls a lot on the post. I think they're going to teach him to have to do a little bit more than just leave him out one on one. Yeah. Although it definitely will help them uh even to oh mcgill trying to put it back up does not get it to go people have another shot to get it within one possession maybe oh and the block from thomas oh, no. foul. foul thomas wow. uh frustrated with the move uh decision, but nonetheless creek can get back in this game get to two possessions all right, and Hammond makes the first, making it a five-point game. And um, Hammond is going to make the second as well. That's a four-point game, 31-27. The clock has stopped. They screwed up. Okay, um, this will happen to us too. Okay, Grandview. Looking around, pump fake, no good. Uh, trying to pass it out. Uh, Holtman cannot get a shot up, and McGill gets stripped. Doing a good job of keeping McGill out of the paint, as he said. Yeah, Holly got a good re got a good steal there, and the wow, wow pull up three from Julian Hammond the third. What a shot! And it brings it to a one point game. We're right back in it game from both these sides and it's going to go down to the wire yep seems like it okay ramiro tries to find the man in the corner a little bit late good uh crossover on the pick and he puts it in timeout from grandview i think creek has really improved on what you were saying keeping the gill of the tape but creek Grandview has more scores than Creek, and I think they're going to have to do the same thing they did on the other possessions, shutting down the other players by overplaying them and keeping the pressure on. I'd like to point out that Hammond has Creek's last five points, uh, yeah, which, like yeah, he might be their key to success here. I think um, he's going to have to facilitate this offense and make it a little bit more efficient off these points, but as of late, like, taking over. Yep, seems like it. All right. Um, coming out, do they make a different change? Nope, pretty much the same lineup, except Gutter Helm is back in. Uh, presumably their center tasked with guarding McGill. And they've done a pretty good job, too. They've come yep. out of the paint. Most part. All right, Hammond, uh, the man of the hour, trying to go in, passes it back out to the corner, three-pointer, and it's off the glass and out. But they get the steal. Hammond puts it up. Oh, rolls out. Unlucky break. The shot they pulled it out, but he rushed the shot. Yeah. Almost went in, just a little bit too short and didn't get the right roll. Okay, R Ramiro from deep. Wow. Looks at his hand after the shot. Wow, very cool. It's like hand and see who takes who finishes this game. He looked like he was throwing that at like somebody. That had some aggression behind that layup, but he gets fouled. Um Miles purchased to the line. 
Bassett gets the call and he can bring it back to a two possession game. Mara, Let's see if Grand View is going to make any changes. Him and personally, goes on his own little 5 0 run. Yeah, uh, makes it. There we go. All right. Um, Burr comes in for uh, Tanner Holtman. Burr, one of the best two sports athletes in the state. Of course, leading the Grandview Wolves on a football field as well. Okay. Sinks the next one. It is a four point game. Looks like they're going to do a little, a lot of pressure, man. They're going to try to do a full court trap here. Okay. Burr looking up floor. Romero has it. Oh, look. I know those people. Okay. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> uh, Ramiro looking around, trying to charge, just gets it in, but they call the foul on Grandview. Wow, pivotal play, but coach is not happy. But have a chance to make it a one possession game, and they oh, do. Wow. The three pointer from from the hot hand himself, Julian Hammond. Wow. He accounts for now eight of their last ten points. Hammond is taking... I feel like this is a great matchup, Hammond versus Romero, and they're both taking each of their shots personally. It will be a great finish to this game. Yeah, it's exciting. You know, you can't be certain about this one, which way it'll go. You really can't. Both teams are heating up at the same time, and you... Start to wonder which one will finish out with the last turn. There's a reason why both these teams are the number one and number two teams in this district here, and I feel like it's going to stay that way for the state tournament. Yeah. Well, you know, you never know. At the end of this game, these are the kind of games that can decide where you place, and whoever loses this is sure to go down a bit. And with Valor on your tail, you, you can't be certain. Be certain. Either All right. Way, four minutes left to go, and it's a one possession game. And uh, we're gonna have to see who will start taking the shots for Grandview if the Creek starts um, playing applying a little bit more pressure on Romero. Okay. Um, bringing in Grandview brings in Cade Coles, um, in for Holtman. All right. Camera seems to be fixated on the people dancing. Okay, Grandview brings it in. Burr trying to bring it up floor. Oh man, I wish they would stop dancing so I could see the game. <laughs> okay. Um, Grandview trying to find something. Uh, Ramiro uh, viewing the floor like he does. Um, seems like... Sebastian Cole is queued up for Creek. Oh, Ramiro! And he oh, drills wow. it! Hammond and Ramiro just going back and forth. Both unconscious. Okay. Purchase for deep, and he makes it! Wow. Whoo. This is incredible. Okay. Ramiro has it. Oh, and he sneaks around and gets the steal. He's going for the layup, and they take the lead for the first time all game. Or, no, or since the first quarter. He just has been trying to do that all game and finally gets a little swipe of the ball and translates yeah. it to Just some heads-up defense there. Ramiro looking. Burr has it in the corner. Uh, given a little bit of space, trying to pass it, uh, and they call a out of bounds on Grandview, oh, or no, a timeout. Timeout on Grandview. That's the corner. That was a good idea. Man, it's just a tale of two. The guards are just drilling it down the stretch. You couldn't ask for much more. The paint, which means Bear has just been hitting those shots for them. And on the other end, Purchase and Hammond. Yeah, just yeah. very lucky. Uh, that you just got to be thankful if you're Grandview that 
somebody like um, somebody like Liam Romero stepped up for you when they took out one of your best threats there in McGill. That just shows how many options both these teams have. Like Creek has been going to both purchase him the entire night, and then same for Grandview when McGill is getting um, pressured by multiple people. It's just ability for other people to hit those shots. Also, an underrated thing, uh, Gunner Helm there. You know, we mentioned them taking McGill out of the game, but it's only really happened since they brought in Helm. Helm's been a great uh, defensive difference maker for Creek. Okay, Ramiro trying to get it in. Nope. All right. Um, Burr looking underneath. And they call a foul on the reach in seems like he caught a hand a questionable look very clean but looks like we're in the bonus here yeah, Granville will have a chance to take the lead uh and mcgill to the line he is somewhere near four for five for the game all right misses the first one and doesn't even get the attempt at the second one that would have tied the game the bonus it's the yeah, one it's just one and one. All right, Purchase trying to find something. Finds Helm. Helm passes it back to Hammond. Hammond uh, guarded by Thomas here. They're giving him quite a bit of space, waiting for the play. Passes it across. The, the trio, no good. But the foul, three shots inbound for Sebastian Cole. Wow. This well, could really... Yeah. Slapped away and sells it in the air. Great play by him. Yeah, I really waited. He almost waited just enough time for somebody to barely get to him so he could get a foul. Yeah. Heads up play there. All right. He yeah, misses the first good. one. That could be good. pivotal. But... Yeah. Sebastian Cole seems to be a pretty good free throw shooter from what we've seen today. Makes the second. Uh, Grandview brings in Holtman for Cade Coles. This is practically their starting lineup right now. Except, you know, Thomas in. Makes us third. So it's a okay. three possession game. But no, three no it's a one possession lead. game. It's a three point lead. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Yeah. All right. Ramiro trying to bring it up, one-on-one -on -one with Cole. Cole trying his hardest to keep him in. All right. Ramiro trying to find something. Finds uh, McGill. McGill trying to pass it out. And it gets stolen. One-on-one. -on -one. Thomas, purchase. Purchase does not get it. No foul is called. The rebound goes to Grandview. Ramiro trying to find something. Loses the handle. Ball back. Holtman. Oh, man. Thomas has it, and they're going to reset. First pause we've had in a minute. Call a timeout. Calling timeout for Creek. That was chaotic. Everywhere. And just a sloppy turnover. Thankfully, Creek rushes the shot, and body's flying, but no call. Yeah. Well, you could. I think that the refs just honestly couldn't tell who was doing the fouling. I sure couldn't. Looked like people were tripping all over themselves, and yeah, it just seemed like everybody went up for it, and they all just collided. You couldn't really say any one of them was to blame. Well, at forty-three left to go, and it's been wire to wire basically the whole game with Creek crawling back in at this fourth quarter and recently taking the lead. Yeah, Creek with that lead, it's a big message uh, sender for the fact that they haven't. They haven't been able to do a ton of that. Uh, I mean, they hardly had a lead in this game. For most of the game, they were down. Uh, and down by as much as six going into the fourth. I think when Creek really stepped up their defensive scheme to stop McGill from getting into the team. Yeah, great halftime adjustment. Yeah. Somebody's kissing, maybe? All right. What? <laughs> okay. All right, um, Grandview getting back to action. Still Burr, Thomas, McGill, Holtman, and Ramiro. 